Uh, we got two more pretty big brand names here. Texas A&M at LSU, and the Tigers are a six-and-a-half-point home dog in the Ed Orgeron finale in Death Valley. Total of 45. I'm not, number, I'm not looking at numbers here. I'll let you see the numbers. Jimbo Fisher has an opportunity to make Ed Orgeron miss a bowl in his last game at LSU. Yes. Texas A&M is going to win by 70. That's, 70. that's kind of what I'm looking at here. Uh, yeah. I, I, am, I don't need numbers. I'm going to pull up my numbers here uh, because it, it, can you imagine what the the – Post game or no, the pregame speech from Ed Orgeron is going to be like. I mean, it's going to be insane. So I, there's no these two teams are so volatile that you never know who is it, like who's going to actually show up. Uh, LSU looked awful against Louisiana Monroe last week. I mean, just putrid. And I wonder if part of that was because they put so much into the Arkansas game and then they put so much in the Alabama game the week before that. They were trying to get one of those. Now they did end up winning the ball game, but. I mean, A and M. Their their biggest thing is being able to run the football. Like they don't have to worry about Zach Calzada if they're able to get uh, Isaiah Spiller rolling. And LSU number thirty six and stuff, right? I mean, they they've actually picked up their defense quite a bit. Those seniors on the defensive line have really have really shown up here lately. Adjusted sack rate on defense for LSU is number thirty two. It's seven point seven percent. If they can get to Calzada, I mean, all bets off here. So I I do yeah. I'm rolling with you here. I think Jimbo's going to have a lot up his sleeve for this game because these two teams do not like each other at all, and I think it means more to A and M than it does for LSU. Although there is the motivation factor of how much do the kids that are still playing actually like Edo, right? But I'll take I'll take A and M because I think Jimbo. Yeah. We saw it in the Alabama game. He he hides stuff. He keeps stuff in his back pocket for these ball games, and that's that's what I'm betting on. I'm going to roll a And M. I think just like you. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't see a world where LSU moves the ball. I mean, like with 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 um, what's the what's the kid's name? Grant? Grant? No, not Grant. It's Scott's it was kid. Max Johnson, and then uh, Nussmeyer. Nussmeyer. Garrett Nussmeyer. Yeah. So yeah. whatever they're doing at quarterback, like they don't have an athlete. They had some interesting ideas. Like last week against, I'm not putting a ton of stock in because that's like that's second, that's spring semester senior year. Edo is like, I'm not doing that shit. Like I'm not, I'm not game <laughs> prepping for ULM. We're gonna win. It's fine. Sorry for cursing. Um, but yeah, yeah so like it's. I just, I mean, A and M's defense is fourth in EPA. They're they're twelfth in passing success rate allowed, and sure, they're sixty sixth in rushing success rate allowed. But LSU's offense is a hundred in success rate on rushing. So. Yeah. Just, they're not going to move the ball. And you, you, the Jimbo son of a gun factor here wins out for me. I'm taking a and Mike Elko, number five defensive points per drive. Number three defensive points per play. They are awesome. I mean, they, they Mike, Mike just, Elko coaching for a job? Possibly. But, I mean, at the same time, why leave? Right? It, it all yeah. depends on their motivation. It's very much a Brent Venables kind of situation there because uh, he's making, what, two and a half million? And he's got like a three-year deal. Like his deal, I think, also got extended along with Jimbo's. Dang. Why? Like, <laughs> why? Why go take one of these smaller jobs when you can stay at A and M and just produce ridiculous athletes on the defensive side of the ball? Yeah, I mean, it, it, now it wouldn't surprise me because I I have also seen Gus Malzahn go take a pay cut to be the Arkansas State coach to come back to Auburn, but obviously right. Auburn's a little bit different situation. So. Right. Who knows? Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.